Okay. Um, <clears throat> Vikings. Buccaneers. This one's for all the marbles. No, not really. Um, injury reports out the you know, final one of the week. Kendrick's not playing. I mean, that's a fuck. That's a crushing blow. It was expected. Um, maybe in this case, it'll just help that you know last week he didn't lose Kendrick's until you know right before the game. This week, you know. They're going to basically have been able to prepare the whole week, assuming he's not playing. So, um, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, Injury-wise, beyond that, uh, Rudolph's out. I mean, he's not officially listed as out. He's listed as doubtful, but it's, I mean, it's, they're not going to play him. Um, everyone else seems to be pretty good to go. Uh, Madison's out, too, but, but the... Appendectomy. Um, but uh, Irv Smith's back. All the linemen are uh, are good to go. Um, glad he's good to go. You know. So you know the offense at least, minus obviously Rudolph, is pretty healthy. Like so, basically. The Vikings are in deep shit for this game. Um, without Kendricks, I mean, like, I don't. How many more ways can can this defense be, you know, put behind the eight ball this year? It's just insane. Um, and now biggest game of the season, and you're you're down. You're you're probable All Pro linebacker. I mean. It's ridiculous, but, uh, so, I mean, it, look, if, if somehow Zimmer can pull this one off, I don't, I don't ever want to hear any Vikings fan say anything about him again that's negative, because, you know, if he can, if he can pull off this win, even if it's not, like, a defensive masterpiece, if it's even just, like, just defense does well enough just to give the offense the chance to go win the game, you know, it would for sure be a top five Zimmer win, in my opinion, and that's what it's going to take probably, it's going to take the offense being really, really good, um, and hopefully they will be, it's a bad, I mean, it's kind of a bad matchup on both ends, but, because they got a pretty good uh, defensive front and our line struggles, but, you know, Cleveland will be able to play, so, I mean, you know, offensive line was not good last week, even with him in there, but for the most part, when he's been in there, they've been more than competent, so hopefully, you know, maybe last week was just an off week, and maybe, you know, it was play calling, you know, other factors, hopefully, this week, they're, they're better, um, you know, I don't buy into the whole, we play down to our opponents, or we and then we play up to our point. Like, I don't really buy that. I mean, I think if they, you know, they could play. They could play well this weekend and lose. And you know, it's it's hard to imagine them having like an ugly win, like like a Jacksonville game. But you know, they're obviously gonna have to play better than they've played the last two weeks. Um, and you know, like I give them a shot. They got, they got a shot. Like they were one and five. We were one and five coming out of the bye, heading it into Lambeau. You know, every rational Vikings fan, other than the tank Nazis, who are not rational because these people are not fans to begin with, but any rational Vikings fan would have killed to have this opportunity. And um, so they're, you know, if they win, if they pull this off. They jump into that uh, sixth spot now, because uh, they would have the type. They would have the same record as Tampa Bay and have the tiebreaker, um, and they'd be much more secure in that in their playoff spot. Uh, lose, and then we got to rely on uh, the New York Football Giants to beat the Cardinals, and that's possible because the Giants seem to be peaking. You know, people, I mean, you can laugh at the NFC East all you want. Like, 
Giants just beat the Seahawks um, in Seattle. Um, and they made Russell Wilson look terrible, probably bad as he's looked maybe ever. And, you know, Arizona's been trending down. The only, only reason Arizona hasn't lost five straight games at the moment is that Hail Mary that Murray hit against uh, the Bills. You know, they're they're trending very much in the in the wrong direction. Um, you know, now if you lose, then you open the door to a couple of those teams that are also below you, like the 49ers and uh, I guess the Bears and Lions would both be, be uh, in a position to to come up and tie you, but at least at the moment you have tiebreakers on, I think, all those teams. Um, so it's not do or die for this game. Um, obviously, it'd be a huge win. It wouldn't necessarily be, you know, a crushing loss because I think it's kind of expected. Um, You never want to lose. Like obviously, you, you, it'll suck if they lose, but it'll suck because we've never beaten Brady. You know, it's amazing how every single time we ever played uh, Patriots version of Brady, it was a bad Vikings team. Like the best team that we played or that we sent up against them was the eight seven one team from a couple years ago, and of course, that was one of the games right before uh, D. Filippo got fired, and that was one of the games where they just, they didn't even try to win. Um, you know, this, this team, you know, good, you know, probably the best team they've, they've set up against him, you know, and this could be the last chance to beat him, because, I mean, eventually that son of a bitch has got to retire. Um, you know, just from that angle, I would, I would, I would love that they won this game, even if they weren't in the playoff chase. But, um, so yeah, I think you know it's it's going to be a real tough game without Kendricks. It would be a tough game with Kendricks. Um, but you know, if the offense kind of gets out of its own way a little bit. I think they can score with Tampa Bay for sure. Uh, it's, it'll, it'll come down to can, can the defense do anything. And they might not be able to do anything because it's a bad, kind of a bad matchup on, on that end too. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going into it thinking, you know, be great to get the win. Not going to be completely devastated if they lose because... Now, now, if the Cardinals win and you lose, then that's then you're kind of back to square one again. But um, you know, the season ain't over if they lose. If they win, they're not a lock for the playoffs yet either. But it's going to be looking pretty good. So let's go, let's go Vikings. Let's get this one done.